from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Well, get ready for a lot of sun through the course of the Memorial Day weekend. So don't forget the uh, sunblock if you're going to be heading out. Also, don't forget to hydrate as well. Now, uh, if you are heading to the pool, maybe the beach or the lake to try to beat the heat, don't forget those water safety measures, especially when it comes uh, to children. Never want to leave uh, children unattended any in a pool for any reason. And uh, as we head into next week, it's going to be full on summer heat and humidity here across the Acadiana as we uh, see high temperatures pushing the lower to maybe even uh, middle 90s on a couple of those days. Big picture satellite radar composite very quiet here across the deep south. Fair skies in place. So uh, if you are heading out to the beaches off to the east, maybe to Mississippi, Alabama or Florida, no major issues this weekend. Surface low here continues the track off to our east and we are on the back side of that system. So dry, comfortable weather uh, will continue here across the Acadiana. In fact, very pleasant night ahead. We'll see overnight lows dropping down into the lower 60s. Maybe some upper 50s sprinkled in there, but that's some 8 to 10 degrees below where we should be for the time of year. So uh, be sure to enjoy that first thing tomorrow morning. Lots of sunshine throughout our Saturday. Another warm to hot day. We hit 90 here in Lafayette this afternoon. We'll be pretty close to that once again tomorrow. But again, dew points in the 50s. So very uh, comfortable humidity, at least for the time of year late. May going into early June. Winds not too bad, only at around three to six. A little bit milder tomorrow night, Sunday morning, but still comfortable. We'll start to see uh, more of an onshore flow coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. Mid to upper 60s and then upper 80s to lower 90s into Sunday afternoon. But again, as winds come out of the Gulf instead of out of the north, uh, that's going to start to increase our low level moisture and thus we will start to notice that humidity sneaking up on us uh, just a little bit. Meanwhile, out in the tropics, uh, first official uh, day of hurricane season is June 1st and uh, as of now nothing to report with no new developments expected over the next several days. So that's some good news uh, again. Very nice out there tonight. I think the model a little bit too cool, but we'll favor upper 50s to near 60 northern portions of Acadiana, lower 60s along the I-10 corridor and low to mid 60s uh, across the coastal parishes. And then again, we'll approach near 90 tomorrow afternoon. Pretty much similar story Sunday going into Memorial Day itself there on Monday, but tomorrow just like today, lower humidity in place, so it's going to feel nice for sure. Again, at least for the time of year, late May standards. And then again, that humidity will start to sneak up on us by the end of the weekend and then heading into the entirety of next week. So 62 or so for the projected low, at least here in Lafayette. Again, average for the time of year sits at 70. 90 tomorrow afternoon, mostly sunny out there. And again, comfortable conditions into the afternoon. Northeasterly winds only at around three to six miles per hour. Here we go into next week. Again, hot, humid, summer-like conditions out there across the Acadiana as uh, we'll see those highs pushing the lower to maybe even middle 90s. And uh, with that, as we start to see a little bit of an increase in low-level moisture, we'll start to introduce some isolated rain chances uh, back into the forecast. But really, nothing too terribly high, only uh, around 20 to 30 percent for those typical pop-up afternoon showers and or thunder showers. But uh, Jim, a nice weekend ahead for all those outdoor plans mm -hmm. uh, that everyone may have. Yeah, lows in the 60s too. That's crazy. We'll we're take gonna, it. We're going to hang on to that because we're not going to see it it's again. Not much longer. Maybe right? October. Yeah, that's so, right. right. <laughs> Thanks, Brad.